Okay, let's work with one of my favorites, Brian Sitzer. Brian Sitzer uses some typical rockabilly riffs in his jump blues solos. When he plays in the key of G, he uses open strings to give his riffs a special slant. Now these open strings can be played in that key because they're all part of the G major pentatonic scale. Now that's this scale. <laughs> get into that scale later on. Now this makes playing standard riffs easy. As you can see, notes from the major pentatonic scale. All open strings. These are the first two riffs. Both start off with the open G string, and they use an open E string too. The slide from the third to the fourth fret on the third string is played with your middle finger. Now you can let that B note on the third string ring, and together with the D note on the second in the open string, E, you get a more chordal effect. These are typical rockabilly riffs. And this way you end up in the first blues position, key of G, and you have access to all the open strings. The scale we use is a major pentatonic one and has the notes G, A, B, D, E, and G. And we've also added the flat a third to make it bluesy. Making the transition to the four chord, we can use a set of third intervals to signal that change. Now the slide into the major third and the fifth of the chord we've seen before. Once you played that one, the first part of the lick, you move one string up and you play the tonic and the third of the chord. Once you've done that, you move back. And this is a great lick to signal the change to the four chord. Now the four chord is of course a C step seventh. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up the neck and play a sixth interval here around the C7 bar chord position. Nice sounding fresh open lick. And we walk back with that sixth interval on the first and the third string. Then we get a typical rockabilly riff with double pull-offs with the blues lick following that one. And then we get sets of sixth intervals both for the D chord at the 10th fret and for the C chord at the 8th fret. After that, we're moving back 
to the first blues position key of G, starting off with the sixth interval again. But now we're going to use a very major sounding lick. And what we're doing is we're avoiding all the notes from the blues scale, so all the notes that give tension, we're avoiding those notes. We're just playing sixth, major thirds, in this case also a major seventh. You see we land right on top of the major third coming from the fourth, going to the fifth be no below the tonic, and then playing this note, which is the guiding tone to the tonic, making the riff complete. So we avoid all the flat at seventh notes, all the notes that give tension, we avoid those notes, just playing major chord tone, uh, major tones. Let's do another one. 